Hello my friends. So today I am going to explain you a very important topic in SAP Extended Warehouse Management which is the Material Flow System. Material Flow System means, I will explain it here. So in this example I have covered the functional part and also the technical part both. Technical means how we do the enhancement, how we implement the baddies, how we do the changes in the business logic to enhance the functionalities. Now, for an example, in the warehouse, we have an area. It's like a small kind of area in the, inside the warehouse. Okay. We have, in some warehouses, we have seen the conveyor belts. Conveyor belt means products are going to move from the belt like for an example assume that now so here I will cover cover few things so we have the conveyor belt so on the conveyor belt in the warehouse we put the handling units HUs it's like it's boxes which contains the material which has the barcodes which has all the details about the product or warehouse task no more detail about the a lot of details it contains material the quantity now then this box this conveyor belts handle with the one of the motor it, it, it has the it had the belt has motor through motor through electrical motor this belt moves like the direction so when belt moves like if you go to the airport we have the when you take the luggage so we have the one belt it moves always in the same warehouse when we talk about the material flow system so material flows MFS so in under the MFS, uh, I can say the te technique, yes, concept. So when H U comes here, when this box moving, 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 and when box comes here, here, in this section, in this area, we have the sensors. Sensor means these sensors sense the laser light, the light which hits to the particular box and return back to the device to the same sensor device like for an example we have the RF devices RF gun how it works it sends one kind of light to the particular barcode when we scan and that laser light how it reads so for an example if you go to the shopping mall you scan the product how automatically it picks the detail it sends in the forward direction the light light reverts back inside the when once light laser light hit to the particular product or the barcode then it return back to the particular machine then machine reads that machine reads the entire description to the barcodes if you go to shopping mall we have the for an example chips packet you can see the barcode even for an example in the same same process we have the barcode on the boxes or HUs now these scanners these device connect with the elc system in somewhere in the warehouse in some side in one area it connects with the programmable logical controller plc system the uses of the plc system this plc system has some wires like a wiring in the house we have the main board we, where we put the mcbs all the electronics our main line, main like MCP, MCD is fuses. The wires connect with the controller and that controller connects with this device through the wires. And this connects with the computers to manage, to see the failure, to get the status. The main purpose here it comes under the automation process it comes under the warehouse automation process because 
if I don't, if in the warehouse, if we don't have the PLC, PLC system or MFS system, for an example, this technology with the EWM, if we, for an example, have not maintained in the warehouse, then every, for scan every box, one resource, they need to go, they need to scan, they need to perform the activities, depends, picking activities, put away activities, depends. So if through this conveyor belt, through the machine, this machine automatically automatically scans the boxes boxes means barcodes i prepare very long slide with a deep description with the plc in which i convert the sorry i covered the functional part i cover the technical part also and guys my name is Mans Nagar. Here I am covering the more detail. You will enjoy this slide. This is my session. Now, I will cover here conveyor segments, communication points. These are the communication points. When this machine sends the laser light to box, it, it happens in fraction of seconds. It reads the entire detail. And so, why we need this MFS? without mfs we can run the business but this is more smoothly if you if you would like to run a warehouse business with the automation process so we need this we we must implement this purpose the material flow system enables you to connect up the automatic warehouse to sap extended warehouse management without the need of an additional warehouse control unit you can set up the mfs in such a way that warehouse tasks for an identification point to a storage bin in an automatic high rack storage area or instance instance means depends upon the bin why i put here instance depends upon the, the bin and and subdivision into smaller task there are paths on step by step i covered here some pictures i downloaded uh, some pictures and programming and uh, this uh, programmable logic controller plc so this is the share share where we put like this and we can see these wires this connects with the controller this connects with the network it connects with the wi-fi connect with the network connect with the machines and everything is the interlinked like we have the main board in our house now this this is the example of the plc devices controllers it sends receive the signals like a telegrams, like a message when we send, like similar product detail, the which instruction come, so at what time, which box and we, they need to scan everything, instructions are there. Like for an example, if you if you run a music in the on the laptop or the, your desktop, you click, so instruction goes to the processor, Pro processor receive that instruction, send to the search in the hard disk or in the ssd then it receive it performs then you can see the output on the screen right the same thing happens here when it send the signal to the particular controller particular controller send the signal to the scanner which i given you example this is scanner so it receives the all the details and it scans like in the shopping mall when you buy something you scan the barcodes okay for pay or the people they they scan in the cash counter same thing happens here now so these are the responsible in each case using telegram fabrication telegram means sending the message receiving the messages put away and removal from storage of handling unit can do take place without of use another software system they means they can handle everything very 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 smart devices so that's why we call this is an automation process where we will need human for an example so here we can see the sensors here we can see see this is the area see these are the sensor connected with the plc system so see it has the barcodes so when this passes it automatically checks the barcodes scan the detail these are the conveyor belts like for an example if you go to the shopping mall you see the belt right if you go to the shopping mall in the near to the cash counter we have this kind of thing these side are the another kind of the 
that like conveyor belts depends upon the business depends upon the warehouse here we can see the electrical motor now these are the theory i wrote for the more deep understanding so uh, the example the extended warehouse management in the laying staging stacker how it like receives the benefits indication the warehouse management monitor power slash n power slash or n is not mandatory if you have some session open technically i'm talking then you need to pull then or power slash cw power slash mon supply as part of this package enable you to track evaluate and influence the process you can track integration of the monitor the mfs is integrated with the cpwm it is connected to one or more plc here we can see multiple plcs multiple plcs depends upon the business how many uh, like you have the sensor or belts you have in the like for an example conveyor segments conveyor belts you have in the where all depends upon we have the plc devices so this are the very important point automatic identification of HUs using scanner on the automatic storage and retrieval facility automatic diversion of hu yes this is very important point they cannot be stored okay incorrect and like uh, for an example excessive weight identify everything can be identified it works like a human brain like similar to the human brain not exactly similar but like an automation it's smart technology smart Here we can see this point Mal malfunction if anything happens it would be recorded so stable telegram communication between sap ewm and plc using pallet redirection and communication channel these are the important query query sorry and uh, tracking of current state of system evaluation of telegram and response time see this is the uh, storage this is the belts this is the ST1, this route, it scans ELs. <clears throat> the example comparison of following process to the removal from storage of full pallet, supplying the, and picking bin, which bin we need to pick. See the movements. These are the belts, like movements from where we need to pick. Everything can be controlled, tracked. See through the this automation technique if you implement in the warehouse and the conveying of the Pikachu diversion of clarification bin so from which bin so for an example this is the high rack okay we need to pick some box from particular space from here so as we know we have the warehouse WOCR so through the WOCR we can pick the boxes from the different bins from the different storage sections or depends upon the the area and here it's a technical point like a back push channel communication based on the TCP IP protocol yes when it sends the signal it sends through the TCP internet protocol and uh, now i will come to the some little more practical side communication protocol so one point i will again share you here for an example uh, you can assume this is the high rack and here we have the uh, for an example level one two three four five six seven eight level eight or uh, i want to pick this box so we have how system we determination or how we determine in the system through this particular bin we need to pick the product or this from the particular bin I need to pick the HU or box or material so we have the warehouse WORC like means warehouse order creation rule which contains warehouse tasks warehouse process type warehouse tasks contain different kind of tasks so which resource will go so we divide for an example here in this example i will divide this entire hrks high rack storage type into the different section levels 
so section one i will put here i will like one two three four four level i will or this one level i will provide to the resources they will go and they will pick the some boxes directly through the hand but the human directly they cannot pick the box from here or box from here so they need one kind of either cranes or stackers depends upon the height and so we divide this bin this bin in a one level one level means like in one i can divide in the one section which i assign to the warehouse order creation room one for some resources they're going to pick the 5 hu for an example now another this section i will provide to the another uh, like this division this like level 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so i will divide 7 8 9 these three levels i will provide to the another warehouse order creation room which contains the warehouse tasks so so these three another three or four levels which is the high higher level i will provide to the two different warehouse order creation room and to the stacker machines so human will not go here the instruction will be sent from the sap system to the uh, i can see the high rack cranes so only crane can go and crane can pick from here means like human sits here but they they will reach through the crane so like an example through the various order creation room we divide this section to the section to do the perform the activities like same thing can be controlled in uh, through the plc also through the transport proto protocol or internet protocol rfc remote function call this is the technical part so the, the people if they want to interested to learn uh, uh, rfc technical in that depth they can like i can enjoy so uh, we can we can handle inventory management so material force control or like we can obviously the scanners are the sensors and uh, this is another example and this is the some technical part so here we can see this is the standard table here we have one field and the technical some technical codes are there how we work with the mfs here we can see there's the company uh, this is the technical like internal table we have custom relevant not relevant these are the functions so a lot of technical things i cover here Uh, slide is a uh, little bit longer this is around uh, about three pages so i will record this slide fully because it has a lot of technical things so then you will understand more thank you guys like this like uh, my video